Two bulls lock their horns at a micro pond in a Jokolo village, Nakuri Parish in Nakapiripiri district. Their fight is a sign that a hard not meant to use this micro pond has budged in to have a drink of water. This fight symbolizes the shortage of water that Caleb is trying to address. Micro ponds are designed to provide water for between two to three manyatas, that is between 60 and 90 households. Lack of water was acknowledged as one of the constraints that forced Karamajong herdsmen to move long distances in search of water. Kali, as I see, she said something we appreciate so much to construct dams, valley tanks for our livestock. And alongside complementary to that, you will also find along that dam or valley tank would be a ball for the human needs to take, to take clean, safe water as the animals take water from the valley tank. As a result, Kali provided strategically located valley dams and valley tanks and micro dams across the region. A total of 21 such dams have been newly built or desilted throughout the region. Did a very good job. They really provided uh, dams in some parishes now, working through the ministry, our Minister of Water, but uh, uh, Cali, the, uh, the European Union, what they would pay the Minister of Water to provide the dams. Calip and its partners have had to innovate in some areas in order to deal with difficult terrain that stands in the way of drilling boreholes for water. In Nakapiripiri district, for instance, Danish church aid working with Corporation for Development have evolved a unique ways to provide water for production. One of the innovations to deal with this problem are rock catchment dams. An example of this is Kalosio rock catchment. As the consortium coordinator explains, Nakapiripiri is rocky by nature, meaning that runoff water cannot easily be trapped. We are trying to introduce some innovative water harvesting. You know, Karamoja is too dry. So we, we, we look at the resources available, like a rock. This rock, this rock can harvest water that can be stored underground. And then during dry season, the communities can water the animals. So this rock has the capacity to produce 30,000 liters. Four of these rock catchment dams have been built in Nakapiri period and two in the neighboring Amdad district. But another successful innovation are the subsurface dams. Nine of these dams have been constructed in the district. A subsurface barrier is built eight feet into the riverbed to retain and control underground water flow. This one on River Lola Chat was built in 2013. There is plenty of water that can last from the dry season to the next wet months. A series of underground pipes have also been laid below the riverbed, leading to a borehole from which water can be pumped for domestic use or to water the animals. Subsurface water dams. This is some unique thing. And because again we have had many of these, these sand rivers, which we didn't know would be, uh, would be a source of water at one time, especially a dry season. At least now we, uh, we know we can make use of some of these sand rivers that we thought were only useful during rain season. As these tough wars show, bulls fighting to death, Demand for water is critical in Karamoja, the reason why it is an important focus by Karim.